something was pressing on you, Anna. What's what's cooking? Yes, on? it was. Well, I just read it in the news. Obviously, we've heard about that bird flu found in dairy cows in Texas, which is pretty close to where I live. Uh, they found out the virus was able to jump to humans. I don't want right. another pandemic. No one does. I don't know how serious this is, but I also heard that the virus is spreading. Over 2 million chickens were infected and died of bird flu in Texas. So I heard these about viruses... That. Yeah, they could have a major impact on our food supply. So talk a little bit about that, Mike. Do you have any idea if your drugs might be able to treat people, God forbid, if they're infected with this bird flu and the animals? No, that, that is a timely that is a timely question. Um, but I, I want to explain the real focus of our drugs is human. So let's let investors know that we're not going to go off on this tangent unless someone bops us on the head. But but I'm going to answer your question. So our strategy is to get this drug approved in humans. So if someone wants to see if it works on what's called, uh, bird flu is called H5N1. So if someone wants to see if it works on H5N1, which is bird flu, we've already tested it on, remember this, H1N1. The only difference between the two is the five, right? Um, we, think, we think there's probably a pretty good chance we know how to do it. Um, I invite I invite the inquiries. So the thing is, look, we have limited resources, so we're not going to go out there and test for H5N1. But do I think it it's probably going to work? I'm not going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> the discussions come up. Okay. Well, just in case, good to know. 